The good news is the government has met its own target to provide high-speed internet connections to 90% of the country. The bad news, as the Auditor General pointed out Monday, is that just 60% of those in rural and remote parts of Canada can get affordable broadband internet. I think it's quite startling. We, I've been hearing that. We've been all hearing this uh, from rural Canada. And now the, the proof is in the pudding. It's even worse for those living on First Nations reserves. Nationally, just 40% of households on reserves are wired up. But on the prairies, it's even more alarming. In Saskatchewan, just 10% of on-reserve First Nations households are served by high-speed internet versus 99% of households everywhere else in the province. In Manitoba, 15% of on-reserve First Nations households versus 97% everywhere else. And in Alberta, 27% versus 99%. You can see clearly that we have a huge, huge uh, gap between First Nations and the rest of Canadians in those places. Add it up and that's 1.2 million households who cannot access a high-speed internet connection. It's to put that into context for some people, that's like every single person who lives in the city of Montreal doesn't have internet access. The AG also set her sights on Via Rail and other federal transportation agencies saying there are still too many barriers for people with disabilities who travel. Barriers that impact 2.2 million Canadians when they ride on a train or a plane. Some people in Canada have to constantly fight for rights that others take for granted as basic rights. The government did get a passing grade from the AG on the $5 billion project to rehabilitate Parliament Hill's center block, concluding that that project was being, quote, effectively managed, end quote. David Aiken, Global News, Ottawa.